Hey strong siders, today we're going to nerd out and take a look at the different layers of connective tissue in your body. Taking a look at all the different layers here, we're going to start from the outside in. So starting at the top, we have epidermis. This is your skin. Above, those are little hairs sticking out. Below your epidermis is your dermis. Below the dermis, you have your superficial fascia, something we talk about a lot. Below that, we have your deep fascia. And below that, we have muscle. These layers in between are your retinacula cutis fibers. It's a fuzzy substance that builds the layers in between your superficial and deep fascia, and also your dermis. Fat also is deposited in between these layers. You do have a couple more layers in between the deep fascia and the muscle, but we're not going to worry about those ones today. When we sit down all day, we start to mat and crush these layers together. So you end up having your fascia actually start sticking to your muscle and your other fascia layer sticking to the fascia layer above it. In between, those retinacular fibers can build up and they can become sticky, creating what's called adhesions. Nice, healthy tissue likes to slide easily between the layers. So your muscle slides along the fascia, your superficial layer slides along the deep fascia, just creating these smooth frictionless surfaces or low friction surfaces. When they get matted together, it gets sticky. You start creating more friction. Sometimes you feel a burn from this. Most of the time your muscle just doesn't work properly. Let's work with an analogy here so we can better understand what's going on with these sliding layers. So imagine playing tug of war. You're big and strong stronger than your buddy so when you pull you're gonna drag your buddy towards you it's just the way it works if we think about this in terms of muscles with joints that flex side A as that muscle pulls and shortens side B is gonna get pulled towards A around the fulcrum in the center there underneath the arch that is the muscle okay now imagine if I were to draw a line straight through the center here and imagine that's a steel pole driven into the ground what happens now when A pulls really really hard nothing happens. B does not get pulled towards A and vice versa, B does not get to pull. So let's say now we put a bunch of adhesions into this muscle where no longer can these fibers slide over top of each other. They cannot shorten and slide B towards A. Now it doesn't happen through all your muscle tissue. You're like, you're going to get a knot in some of it, but it's still going to be able to pull. It's just not going to work as efficiently. You are working against yourself here when you have a bunch of adhesions packed in. So when we're talking about your glutes or your butt when you sit down all day, you're basically matting, matting, matting those layers together to the point where your glutes don't even want to really work properly. Tune in next week for The Fix.